Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll show you the best DS4 Windows settings for Rocket League. Okay, so let's quickly run through the settings. So you go to the settings, ideas for controller, run at startup, start minimize, close minimizes, and quick charge. Also, in the device options, make sure to click the support for the controller that you're using. If you do not click this, your controller will simply not be recognized by this application. Now go ahead and create your new profile. So click new. In my case, I will go to edit. And then here you just need to bind all of the buttons. So just go to the cross, bind the cross, circle, circle, everything else, bind it the way you want. You can also bind different buttons. For example, swap the triggers and bumpers. Then in the axis config, which is going to be our analog stick controls and settings, you just want to set your dead zone to as low as possible, depending on what kind of stick drift you have on your controller. So in my case, the settings are as follows. Do not ever touch the max zone, max output, and these scales. You can set the sensitivity if you want, but I don't recommend it. Sensitivity should be used maybe if there's a game that has a very very low sensitivity and you can't go any further numbers in here and the fields that will be corresponding onto the dead zone is going to be the dead zone and anti-dead zone anti-dead zone will basically make sure that you can go beyond the dead zone so dead zone is actually not really what it says so if you set it to zero it's actually it's actually not going to be zero so if you want to make sure and decrease the dead zone even further you adjust anti-dead zone in my case it's set to 35 this is perfect for my uh, stick the enhanced precision output curve is going to be the best for accuracy in video games especially shooter games then you scroll down and set uh, the settings for your right stick so this was the left stick now adjust the right stick so depending on what drift or its absence you have on your stick in my case, as you can see, the settings are a bit different. So I have 0, 05 and 30 and 0, 033. And in here I have 0, 06 and 35. So a bit different. Just like usual, enhanced precision output curve. And if you have a dual sense, you might want to uh, change your trigger effect. I am having the full click. You can set the light bar color to any one you want. In my case, I've set it to the lowest brightness possible. Touchpad, you can set your touchpad to the mouse if you want gyroscope if you want to operate your camera you can set it to mouse in other make sure on the emulated controller to set it to xbox 360 now if you're playing on bluetooth with an adapter you want to make sure to set the ds4 bluetooth pull rate to a thousand this will basically reduce the input lag and delay and the latency of your controller this is absolutely mandatory to set and now the last thing I will tell, a small tip, if you, like me, are a bit lazy and you don't want to click on the small share and options button, you just basically set the left touch of your touchpad to the share. So you go to the left touch, as you can see, if I set it to the center, it's multi-touch, set it to touch and then go here and set it to back. This is going to be our options uh, button. And in here on the right touch, you set it to the start button. This is going to be our options button on the Sony controller. And this is basically the settings, guys. Hopefully this helps you. Don't forget to like the video if it helped. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.